Well, spring is fast approaching, and that's when emergency room doctors see an uptick in snake bite victims. And many times, they are, in fact, poisonous. Well, today, doctors and snake experts alike gathered at the Fort Worth Zoo to discuss how to better prepare. Think of the same place as the fire. As soon as they meet that threshold, the one joint threshold, go ahead and treat. Dozens of residents and emergency room physicians from JPS Hospital gathered at the Fort Worth Zoo to talk about snakes, more specifically, how to treat patients bitten by a venomous one. We see mostly copperheads. Uh, I would say the vast majority are copperheads. We do see some rattlesnakes. Dr. Todd Phillips is the chief of medical toxicology at JPS. The goal is to make sure that the patients are treated quickly, safely, and effectively. He says many times younger emergency room doctors don't have experience with these kinds of cases. So gathering here with other venom experts and working with the zoo is a great way to get them acquainted. There's a lot of things that were done 15, 20 years ago are actually harmful. So it's important that these residents and physicians know how to treat them correctly. And part of the presentation was to be able to teach the students how to identify a venomous snake from a non-venomous one. This one, for example, is a non-venomous transpacus rat snake. And we like to have that personal connection so that they're also aware which species we cover and what antivenoms we might have. Diane Barber is the curator of ectotherms at the Fort Worth Zoo. She says it's crucial to work with area hospitals to help them get prepared for snake bite season. There is no way for these people to get, or the physicians to get some of these antivenoms if zoos don't provide them because we're the ones that stock it. The hospitals don't. I was at well, you know, uh, we're told that many of the venomous snake bites around here, they happen at night and when pet owners mishandle their venomous snakes. More specifically, we're told it's pet owners that have these uh, venomous snakes at home. They're showing it off to a friend. They get a little careless. Yeah. Maybe there's some alcohol involved. No, and... Not a good idea. And I can't believe you were brave enough to put that snake. You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> well, Look at this. This, no. is when, this is when they handed it Negative. to me. Negative. And, and I had instructions not to drop it. They said you could hold it, but make sure you don't drop it. You know, it's National uh -uh. Pet Day. I don't have a dog at home, but you know, well, got, to, got to hold a snake today. Up to you, pretty good right there. There you go. Wow. Okay. Name's Willow, by the way. Oh. That was Willow the snake. Oh, Willow, you're so cute. <laughs> Still ahead. If you never got.